this idea of oneness not sameness, I'm also reminded when I think about nature of how, yes, we all come from the same source, but we really are each one unique. If you've ever seen aspen trees, you have seen what looks like a, a forest or a grove of trees, and often they're lined up one right after the other for long, long rows, and they go grow tall and straight, and they are so impressive. It is a sight to see in any season, and they seem to tower over us, and we look around the first time I, I, I saw photographs even of an aspen grove, my, I remember thinking, oh, what beautiful trees. Oh, how beautiful they are. And look how much in alignment they are. They just naturally grow that way. And it was many, many years before I realized that all of the aspen trees to my eye were really all from one root system. That in some ways, when you think about it, it's one tree that comes up from underneath the ground looking individualized, looking unique, but there's only one thing happening in the invisible underground. And each aspen tree really, or each aspen is unique. And when you get to see them close up, you get to see the detail all of the markings are not exactly the same. All of the spacing of the markings is different. Yet, every one is an aspen. There is oneness in the root system, in the source, in the soil. But as they come up, and express themselves individually, there's oneness, but not sameness. Mm -hmm.